Makes a lot of sense. Mm. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. And now you've got a pushing bot lane. Zillion on for, for Hillisang, but I mean, G2 have a lot of engage, right? Oriana, Rakan, massive combo. Camille can dive in there, depending on if he loses guns. Yankos will frontline and probably Ultra Razork will win in the fights, but Fnatic have great poke, great kite back, and they have a lot of frontline to work with themselves. And of course, they have the Time Wizard. You know, there's a lot of solo play champs in the game where you can just kind of make plays on your own. Lee Sin, LeBlanc, Camille, all those kind of champions. If they're ahead, it's Broken Blade. Whew. That was close. One just going to try and turn it around now. Uh, obviously, does give you a little bit more lane power, but oh, hang on. Razok shouldn't be able to get the kill here. Cam's trying to turn it around. Humanoid has TP back in. Razok, only for the heals, flashes as the pillar came in. Yeah, Cap's just standing his ground there. Knew he went out on that Hitting one. No he mana. Hitting has nothing here. Trying to flash away. Time is on the flash chase. One more auto is enough, and the two v two kill. Broken blade in the bottom lane. Broken blade in the top. Just G2 is going to be feeling and riding that momentum. I just want to say, look at the minimap right now. Razork was hovering around mid for so long because Cap's got a good trade and he wants to hold the way for him. So both side lanes have information as to where jungle is. So G2 are happy taking this all in bot. I think that Broken Blade's happy taking the all in top because he knows exactly where Volleyball is. He knows he's close to his tower. He knows he can get away in time. And because he showed mid, they had so much information to just go aggressive. Great presence of mind from both sides. And that's going to be very dangerous for the mid game with having a Camilla head over side into a champion that can win against the LeBlanc. The Zillion lane actually now getting pushed in. It allows Rakan to roam around the map. So we'll see how G2 play this out. Wonder. No flash on him. But they can look for the chase here. The pillar as well will stop Wonder in his tracks. But the chase is on underneath the tower. Yankos takes two shots, but not enough. Yankos forced away. Wonder gets into the mega and gets some health back. I think Yankos. They are at risk of a gank. Razok is looking for it. He's making his way through. You will notice that there are two control wards sitting in both the try. But he's going to get around behind Stun it. Hits. And now Fnatic's bot lane is looking for the fight. Into the cleanses the flash away, but the fight continues as Razork has the flank position here. Targmas doesn't have anything to stop the oncoming bear, and Flackard runs to the other side of the lane, realizing it's not much he can do. Wonder once again able to bounce away, even through the hexagon to made a mid lane. There's trades as well. Will fall, I think, before G2 can arrive. Humanoid dare to zone them away, but he face checks. Can they take the fight though? Razork upset now will be spotted in the mid lane. They'll realize perhaps they need to get out of this one. Caps with a double bomb. He's stunned up off towards the top side. Wonder will fall first. Broken Blade's going to take in the shockwave coming out from Caps. He knows he's going to go down, but he can delay Hillasang and Upset getting the chase on time. Warp on Upset's going to speed him up as he looks to try and join this fight. One for one trade. Rift held going over to Fnatic right now as Razzle flashes in. The feathers come out. Yankos tries to flash away himself. He will escape, as will Broken Blade. G2 walk away wounded, but they walk away alive. Blackhead was bots. They wanted to leverage that Herald to try and secure that tower, but they aren't able to get it. Now let's have a look back at this fight. Yeah, so G2, they know the Herald's dead, but the call here is Razor. Now look at Caps. He's isolated. Humanoid sees it, and it's a good pickup by Fnatic because they all commit onto him. He knows that he's dead. So where does he use the Shockwave? He uses it to pull back the bot lane of Fnatic to keep buying time so Yankos can run. So a little bit of a hero moment there is like, go on without me, leave me behind. And he Fly does manage to fools. save them. Fly, you fools. Razork flashes forwards because he wants to keep the play going. Spawning Drake. You have to keep your eyes on where this Herald ends up getting utilized. Humanoid. See, this is the window where it caps. He runs, dashes back though, dodges the shockwave, Hillisang's here with the double bomb for the stun as well. A great dash back from Humanoid, Targumus trying to join this, gonna get the knock up, Hillisang still has the chrono ship, will bring Humanoid back after he does fall. They're actually gonna try and wait this one out, but he still gets back, Distortion will be up for him, Broken Blade gonna come and join this, has that Hexagold made him to try and lock up Humanoid, he dashes back into this, double knock up coming out from Targumus, Razzle now caught out, Hexagold made him still available for Broken Blade if they wanna try and turn this one around, and with the charm coming out, Wonder now in the midst of three as well, Yankos low on mana, he's gonna try and get away from this one, Broken Blade doesn't have the flash, does have the wall dive, can try and escape, Upset pulls the feathers back, wall dive away from Broken Blade, and he's shut down, feathers come out from Upset as he dives across Targumus, Turns it back around to Flacker, but he's rooted up now. And the fight continues in the mid lane. Caps back from the dead, comes back for the fight. Flacker takes the kill. It is coming. He doesn't have Megan. Our humanoid jumps over the wall, looks for G2, sees four members. Broken Blade TP bot. He's matching two. Razork is back. Upsets on here, so it's a 4v5. They know Humanoid's there, he flashes in, he looks oh, for the question oh. and takes out Flacken. Smite secure as well as Razork takes the dragon. Yankos will fall. Humanoid chased down towards the bottom side as he's gonna try and jump across the wall here. We will get away Humanoid. just in the moment. Caps flashes for him, takes him out. Broken Blade now chased out by Razork. One is gonna be able to get the kill on Targmas. Flashes forward for the last go and Targmas just escapes. Broken Blade dashes under the tower as well and he will manage to survive. Wonder on the chase though, has the Meganar coming back up with the Rift Hell coming in. G2 should not be able to save Broken Blade from this situation. He will try and sweep Hillisang under the rug, but in the end, it will only be him that falls. Wonder dashes forward. 
doesn't have the nerve, but does have the wallop and has enough damage to kill off Broken Blade. So much back and forth, but crucially, Fnatic win the fight. And Favorite on map state as well as gold and objectives. And as soon as Yankos showed on the top side of the map, Pings came down towards the mid. Humanoid knows the jungler is not there. A great charm from Targamus. Being that extra threat. And now they have numbers advantage. Broken Blade does have the TP, but once again, Humanoid looking for the pick. Yankos trying to dodge away from the chains here. It does have to flash in the end. The chase is on from Razzle. Push, they well. have top wave push. This could be a big window for them to secure mid or maybe find a pick. Broken Blade looking for Razzle. Pulls him back with the Hexagon Maiden. Targmas has the quickness as well, and they're going to look for the chase here. Razzle flashes away, but the follow up is there. Featherstorm coming out from upset. Forces Fnatic back towards their base. Resurrection on Razor. Broken Blade looking for Hillasang. He's going to flash away. Wonder now by himself. Caught out by Targamus and Yankos. He's just going to be forced to the safety of his tower. The pillar, though. He's against the, the wall. And he could go down to the lower bracket. So Targamus has all the tools to make some kind of super play in a team fight. But for now, Fnatic on the offensive. Yankos forced away. The chain able to land there. Knock ups onto Humanoid. And that was the flash committed from Humanoid as well. They wanted that kill onto Yankos before the dragon went down, but he is still alive. Yeah, Trundle Pass will heal him up. Watch him do the wolves. He'll heal to full HP off of those. And then they'll come back and contest Midway. Wonder, flash nod. Flashed away, the shock wave coming flashes. out. No vision for them. Step into the darkness. In there lie demons. Fnatic are looking for you. Razzle on the front line. Yankos caught out. Quickness up to the back line. Upset charmed by it. Hexagon made one to the back as well. Upset has the chrono shift. He's going to come back to life. Humanoid hasn't been able to do too much in this fight. He's dived into the pit. Upset flashes away. Yankos stepping forward. Caps not with the team right now. Wonder building up the Meganar. Hillisang speeding him out to get him into this team fight. Junglers are down on either side. Yankos still there. Flank and forth back. The cleanse. The what flash. The moves. He gets away. Wonder down now with 3v3. are alive and Fnatic's are just way too low to step up. Woo! What intense fights, but they're not over yet. Humanoid looking for Caps. Caps trying to dodge away from the chains, but Humanoid closes the angle, closes the gap. Oh, the shot oh, oh. too. It was beautiful from Caps to keep himself alive, but the chase is on as Wonder and Hillisang come to join the party. One for one trader so far. Tugmas trying to save his jungle and his Jankos retreats underneath the safety of the tower. Flacken now stepping forward. Wonder has the Meganar building up. Bam, and a possibility for Fnatic. Objectives. On the dragon in their Raptor entrance, just going so deep. And again, just looking for Caps over side lane. Humanoid starts this one off. Humanoid is just relentless. He is constantly looking for picks, and his eyes were on Caps. But Caps, man, he is no wave, slouch man. either. That's Shockwave, the patience on it as well. Yankos is tried and true jungler there to support him. He does end up losing his life, but here you go. That, oh no, it's just on cooldown. It just oh, okay, came yeah. off at yeah. the very last second. Unlucky. So he wasn't quite able to protect his jungler there. Ends up being a one for one. Very unlucky. And there. Humanoid right now in the fight. Yes, Flacket can dish out damage, but I think he's just trying to peel for himself with no flash. Shockwave flashed by Hiller saying the new Humanoid was in the bottom lane. G2 had a win. Say, Cajal and Dedius as he looks for Razor. Caps diving in. Broken Blade looking to see if he can catch out Humanoid as well. 3000 HP on the mountain. So Yankos on the front line. Razor secures it and G2 had to find the fight. Targum is trying to get in with the quickness. They dive onto Humanoid, but he's able to escape. Wonder with an R back. Humanoid oh, dives humanoid? back in. But the Hexagon of going to lock him in place. He's about to stop watch. Yankos on the front line. Humanoid flashes the way. The Shockwave goes wide. Humanoid dies in the end. And Yanko's still alive. G2, you need to clean this one up if you're going to be able to win this game because you've got to go for the Baron. Razzle on the front line. Targum is diving in. The feathers come out with the feather storm and upset. He's still alive. Chrono Shift is still a possibility for Fnatic. They have that mounted soul. Razzle looking for the flank. He's forced away by Caps. G2 continues to advance. This is their only opportunity to find a win in this fight. You have the feeling Fnatic will disengage. Wonder going back in. Caps low on HP. He's down. Upset flashes. Caps goes down. And now the Fnatic and Advance truly begins. G2 routed by Fnatic. And it is upset that finds that pick onto Caps. The flash is end. still available, but it doesn't matter. Fnatic have the Nexus in their eyes, and Fnatic are looking to take down G2. Humanoid can TP in. They have a wave. 30 seconds on Caps, 30 seconds on Flacket. Can they go for it? Baron's up, but they just want to close it out now. One fatal four in the team fight. One smite from Razork. One fight win from Fnatic. Might be all it takes for them to go into that upper bracket match against Rogue. It's the LEC, baby. Everyone beats everyone. But in the end, once again, the faithful of Fnatic win out. And in the end, they will clean up the fight. Broken Caps Blade and Targamus are chased. The Shockwave goes wide. The Nexus is the end. target. It will fall at Fnatic.